Hey guys, it's Janixa and welcome to another nail lacquer therapy session. Hey guys, today we are going to be looking at the new Zoya Natural 5 collection. This is a transitional collection from winter to spring. They do it, I believe, every year, or at least for the last five years. I'm trying to remember if they do it twice a year, but I think it's just once. I could be totally wrong. Don't quote me on this. But they do it quite often lately. And um, Zoya did send me these polishes in PR for review. But as usual, that won't change my opinion on them. They are very pretty colors. They have a nice formula. Um, so yeah, let's just go ahead and get into the swatches. All right, first up we have Chelsea. And Chelsea can best be described as a powdered blush cream. I don't see too much of the blush here. This one leans a lot more white to me. Um, honestly, this one is not my favorite, you guys. I feel like it doesn't have the best formula. I needed three coats here for my live swatch, but for my full hand swatch, I did have to do four coats, and still, I wasn't completely happy with it. So, for some reason here, Zoya kind of missed out on the formula. It's not working as good as their formulas usually work. Next up we have Sutton, and Sutton can best be described as a muted pinky nude cream. I honestly don't know why Zoya included both of these, Chelsea and Sutton, in this collection. They look almost identical on the nail. It's actually really hard to tell them apart when I put the um, pictures of all the swatches on after these live swatches. You guys will be able to see that they look almost identical. So not quite sure what Zoya was thinking there, but at least this one does have a better formula than Chelsea did. Next up we have Evan, and this one can be described as a softened saddle cream. I really like this one. It's a very pretty brown cream. It's perfect. I mean, everyone needs a shade like this in their nail polish collection. It has a really good formula. It wasn't quite completely opaque on that first coat, even though on the live swatch it kind of looked like it was. There was still some streaks, but the formula is really good here. Next up we have Parker, and Parker can best be described as a warm grayish. This one is also very pretty. It almost has a jelly-like feel to it, even though it isn't. It is a cream, but um, just the way that it goes on the nail, to me, it gives me those jelly vibes. I really like the shade here. It complements my skin tone really well, and again, it has a really good formula. And last but not least, we have Elsie, and this one can best be described as a gentle aubergine cream. This one is also a favorite for me, really, really pretty. I got a wonky brush here, but that's okay. It didn't affect my application. I love the formula on this one. The color is beautiful. I do want to say these did not come with the Z Wide brushes. I did have to switch them out, so just keep that in mind in case you are a Z Wide brush fan. There you have it guys, swatches of the new Zoya Natural 5 collection, the transitional collection for winter to spring 2022. Overall, the polishes and formulas were not bad. I can't really say anything bad there about the formula except for the formula in the first one, Chelsea. This one for my full hand swatch, I did need four coats and I just feel like the formula on this one wasn't quite up to par like on the other ones. Um, and then these two, so Chelsea and Sutton, I feel like they are way too close to be in this same collection. Like we didn't need, we didn't need these two. Look at them. They could have done something a little bit different here. I'm not happy about how close these are, but if you can only choose between one of these, I would go with Sutton because it has a bit of a better formula than Chelsea. Overall, 
these types of shades are not shades that I like to wear very much. I prefer to wear color and sparkly things and, you know, just things that are more fun on my nails. But I do get that there's a lot of people who like to wear, you know, neutrals and nudes. And if you do, these three in the collection, the last three in the collection, are my absolute favorite. Um, so I do recommend them. Overall, the collection does seem a little bit on the boring side, but I mean, that's the whole point of these natural collections is, um, you know, basically work appropriate stuff, office appropriate stuff. So um, based off of that, they did a great job. These are pretty colors, but I can't sit here and say, oh my goodness, you need this. This is the best in the world because honestly, we all have a ton of nudes. We all have a ton of neutrals, but if you don't if you're just getting started in nail polish then this is a great place to start all right you guys that's gonna wrap up this video thank you so much for watching please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and i will see you in my next video bye